Hi everyone, welcome to Simply Cricketing. This is Monica here and I'm going to make a video on how to sh make this super cute, um, quick and easy little turkey. Um, these are just rosettes, just half of a rosette that I cut out and I folded it. And then here, our cute little turkey, he is an SVG cut from the DG Bistro, so I'll leave a link at the bottom of this video. So if you want to see how to make this, just keep what watching. What I have here is I have a 3.5 by 12 piece of paper and a 2.5 by 12 piece of paper. And what you want to do first is you want to score them at each half mark. So let me take out my Martha Stewart scoreboard and move that one to the side. Okay, so once you've scored all of them, you go ahead and you start to do the folding. So let me put this away and get folding. And the fold is easy. I start on one side and I go back and forth and back and forth and so on. You want to do this all the way till you get to the bottom. And what I'm going to do here, so you don't get bored, is I will zoom this quickly. And there we go. This one's all nice and folded. I like to give it a little squishy squishy. Okay, so we have one done, and now it's time to fold this other one. Now this one here, I will definitely go fast motion because this paper is so thick that I'll be here for 20 minutes. Okay, so let me speed this up. Now what I did is I grabbed my, I don't even know what color this is, oh, chestnut. The things rub off really easy. Chestnut stamp pad and I just inked the top of the feathers. These are the feathers if you didn't already know. And here's our turkey. What I want to do is I'm also going to ink what around the edges. Was, um, this actually comes out as a hole, but I didn't want all the other extra leaves. And I mean leaves. What am I thinking? Leaves, feathers. So I just cut out the bottom one. I just moved it on my mat so that way we just had this one part. So let me get my two-way, my brand new two-way that I just got. I'm going to ink. Now I said ink. Oh boy. It's late and I really wanted to make a video. So excuse me for any misunderstandings around here. Okay. So I glued the bottom. I'm going to put him here so he can have his little feet. Here's a little piece of orange. So let me cut that off. Okay, there we go. I know I have a mat that I usually have for my table so I don't dirty it, but of course my mat is somewhere on my dirty desk right now. And like I said, I just felt like making a quick video and I just grabbed my stuff and said, alright, let's start filming. Okay, there. So that's that. And, oh, I don't have a... Oh, Monica, I don't know what I'm doing today. Let me just see if this will work. Yep, it worked. She has her little eyes. Don't try that at home. <laughs> I'm telling you, I wasn't prepared for this. I just wanted to film on it that I had everything ready. Okay, now I'm going to glue down her beak. Hi everyone, okay, so I'm back. So we put this together and I've already put this rosette together here just because this one's the one that the paper is a little bit thicker. All I have here is a circle that I cut using my Friskas um, 
punch. I think it's the one inch punch. I just, just punched out two circles just to help hold this half rosette together. Okay, so let's put the other one together. And all I do is, let's say I unfolded it when I stamped or inked on here. So let me just put this back really quickly. Okay. And what I do is I hold it at the bottom and I just fan it. So you have like this, just like half the rosette. Fan it. And then I grab my glue gun and I just pour it on the glue. Just be careful not to burn yourself. Okay. Like so. And quickly, oops, sorry about that. Grab my circle, put it towards the bottom, and hold. It's a little warm. Let me zoom you in. Oops. That's a lot of zoom in. That's okay. And then I just folded that like this, and then I'll just fold this back this way. So let me just add some glue here just so we can make sure this is nice and sturdy. Okay. And fold. And there we go. And now we're going to put him together really quickly. So you grab the longer layer, this is the one that's three and a half by twelve, and then the other layer, which is the two and a half by twelve. And all we're doing here is we're just hot gluing these two together. So you just add some hot glue. I use a generous amount because I want to make sure this bad boy stays. And put him there at the bottom and hold. Then we're going to add our turkey. So let me add some hot glue there too. And this turkey goes here. And then just back up a little bit. So all you have to do is get some papers that you like, any, any pattern paper. I would suggest pattern paper would work best. Um, with any fall colors, go grab yourself the SVG image from the DG Bistro. There's, it's the fall assortment, and there's a lot of cute fall um, SVG files on there that you can use and you can with your Cricut. So, hope you like him. Gobble, 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 tea wobble. And if you did like them, and you go ahead and give it a try, I'd love to see it. You can post it on um, my Facebook page on simplycricketing.com. I'll leave a link for that also. And I'd love to see them. Have a great rest of the week, everyone. Bye.